Hello everybody, my name is Tide Statistic, and I'm bringing you a quick review on this game called Universe Sandbox. Now, I've played this game before, a while, a while back, um, but they asked me to review this game, and I'm honestly honored to review this game. Um, I took physics and astronomy back in high school, and I loved it, and that's basically what this game's about. Now, I had a lot of fun just fucking around on this. You can change the speed time of the universe. Um, you can change everything. Basically, you can add stuff, you can take off stuff, you can blow up shit. But one of the things I found interesting while playing this game is the sun wobble, or the tilt, as it rotates yearly by yearly. The sun gets pulled on by all the rest of the planets and it wobbles as you can see in this little demonstration. And that it does it every year as the galaxy, or universe, or the galaxy slowly rotates. Just, just a hair. But it does it every, every year. Just a bit. Now this was very, very interesting. Which, personally, having a lot of fun playing this game. Even though it's not even a game, it's just a simulator. But, it's one of the best space simulators you can get out there on the market at the moment. Also, each planet has their own trail. Yeah, this isn't the game lagging, it's just the engine, but I'm, I speed up the t I spawned a whole bunch of planets and I sped up the time. And as I sped it up, it created a pretty good um, design, in my opinion. I dropped a shitload of planets on the outer belt towards Neptune and just sped it up the time and it created this little cool disc. After digging around for a little bit, I want to know what would happen if I did end up putting two suns together because it would hit each other, it would implode and create a supernova. So I did my best and there's the little explosion. So sit back and relax and watch watch my suns explode as I was digging around. <laughs> Something I found a little weird was all the planets were still there, all going in different directions, including the sun. Which I found a little weird, but well, honestly, I would imagine it would completely disintegrate everything in its path. But it's pretty cool. You can, you can edit and move all the planets, change their trajectory and their weight and everything like that. Now you can change the planet's age on the right side as you can see what I was doing. It's currently at 15.2, but I was wondering if you could actually age the planet for it to actually use all of its hydrogen and turn it into helium 
And at that point, it would start becoming bigger, larger, expanding, and it wouldn't have much more to burn once it's out of hydrogen. So I was trying to get to actually implode on itself and turn into a dwarf, but it did not do that, sadly. After making it eons old, it just didn't didn't change, which kind of blew. Thank you everybody for watching. If you liked my video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you want to see me review any more videos, go ahead and drop them down in the comments section. I will most definitely get to them. I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this and just dick around more.